So our next topic is about heart and symbolic links. And in order to understand heart and symbolic links, you must understand a little bit about how the Linux file system is organized. So if you have files, your data is stored in blocks. That is basically the way a hard disk is laid out. Uh, that is blocks that contain much more than just one byte. Typically a block on a hard disk is four kilobyte, but it can be bigger as well. Now to access these blocks you want to collect them together. And a collection of blocks with a name assigned to it, well that's what we basically call a file. All the administrative data of a file is in the inode. Every file has one single inode. And from the inode the blocks of the file are referred to. Every inode has a number on a Linux file system and you can refer to inodes by numbers. But imagine for an ordinary user it would not be very, very easy to go to different numbers if you want to access different files. And that is why on the Linux file system we are working with file names. Such as etc hosts. Now the file name is an entry point to the inode. And the interesting thing is, is that it is one way direction. So the file name knows which inode it is assigned to, but the inode is not aware of the file names that it has. It just has a counter uh, to count the number of names that are assigned to it. Now each of these names, you call that a hard link. And the interesting thing about the Linux file system layout is that you can have one hard link, which is one name that is assigned to an inode, and you can have multiple hard links as well. So if you want to assign another name, that is perfectly fine. And in the hierarchy there is no difference between the original name and the other name. And this is not a copy, because in a copy you will get a different inode and the blocks will start living their own life. It's a hard link, so you are still referring to the same inode and the same blocks. So if anything changes uh, in the blocks, you will see it here as well as here. And if this one is removed, well, then this one still continues to exist, because there is no relation between the original name and the secondary name that you want to assign. Now in the Linux file system there is also another way of creating links and that is the symbolic link. Now the difference between a symbolic link and a hard link is that a symbolic link doesn't point directly to the inode a symbolic link points to a file name. In the Linux hierarchy it is important to work with symbolic links because with symbolic links you can do something that you cannot do with hard links and that is refer to files that exist on another device such as another hard disk uh, or whatever. Uh, but there's an important difference and that is that the symbolic link uh, refers to a file name and not to the inode directly. So you can imagine what is happening if the my hosts file is deleted, then the symbolic link will become uh, invalid. And I will show you in my upcoming demo how all that works.